How to use QRFI. Hey everyone, welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I'll be talking about QRFI and how to use it. Basically, QRFI is a platform. As you can see, you can just go to QRFI.com to get started. And I will show you how to just set things up. Uh, basically, if I didn't already mention, QRFI is a platform that allows you to basically create QR codes, not not only for URLs, which is, you know, what usually QR codes are meant for, but you can actually create QR codes for multiple different things. There's plenty of things that you can actually create QR codes for, and I'll show you the list right now. It's right in front of you. You can create them for URL, which is the most uh, basic one, most used one, and so on. We can create Created for text, Wi Fi, V card, PDF, uh, coupon, event, MP3, social media, landing page, menu, which is also very used, apps, playlist, business, email, you name it. You can just create QR codes for any of those elements and things here. Now we can just go ahead and actually just get started uh, with QRFI. So go to this website, QRFI.com, like I said, and click on register to get started. Now you can just start working right away, but they're going to ask you to sign up later on anyway. So I just prefer to go ahead and register right away. And here you'll need to just go ahead and enter your email and password. I'm just going to cl uh, click on sign up with Google. It's much faster for me, much easier. So I'm just going to sign up using Google and get back to you um, once this is done. Okay, so once you sign up, you should be greeted with this place here. So here you can create your uh, QR code from scratch. Uh, and we have, this is the new QR tab. We have QR or bulk QR generation. We have my QR codes. This is going to just basically show you all the ones that we have already created. We have stats. Uh, I believe it's just going to show us how many people can actually or have scanned our QR codes. You can see our total QR uh, codes, total scans, and total unique scans, total visits, and so on. We have templates to choose from, but we will need to create uh, some. And then we have my domains, if you have added any. And lastly, the actual plans, because it's not free. Uh, QRFI is not a free platform. However, you do get a seven-day free trial. I did not add any card information or anything. You just sign up and it's just going to start the uh, trial for you. So if we just go to plans and payments, let's just talk about how much it's actually going to cost. They do offer three plans. Now, let me just change the currency for something that you may understand better. US dollar. So we can see the three months. Uh, we can see that's uh, 30. Or you can say 40. Six months uh, is 30. Uh, and then you can see the 12 months is going to be uh, 20. Now you can see the like when it's actually going to be built. Quarterly, semi-annually, and then annually. This is why the cost is a little uh, off. But basically, these are the plans that you can actually just go for and start working on. They're going to be exactly the same, just, you know, more time and stuff. Uh, usually, people just go for the 12 months. It doesn't really matter which one you want to go for. Anyways. Uh, aside from the actual pricing, let's talk about how to set up a specific uh, QR code. So let's say we want to, the, to do the most basic one, which is a URL. Just go to new QR, click on website, and here we will need to just set things up. Here is going to be the most important part, which is going to be the actual website URL. So I'm just going to go for google.com. Hopefully this one works. You will need to actually get the uh, proper URL. So let me just go ahead do that it's not going to give me anything let me just find a youtube channel or something i'm just going to add a url here basically okay so uh once you actually enter the url this is just a video i have like created for a tutorial purpose it's not nothing much just you know a, a video of the color red that's it uh, anyway so you, once you actually find a url that you want to use you can just enter it over here and we have the basic information done. If you want to have multi-language support, you can do so. But I'm just going to turn this off. If you go to edit uh, parameters, you can actually edit a few things here. I'm not going to mess with this because I don't really know what uh, I can actually add in here. Um, so I'm not going to mess with this. If you know what you're doing with this, 
feel free to do so. So here we can also do uh, time scheduling. So we can actually go ahead and enable time ranges. So we can just give it a name. And then we can just go ahead and set up the actual days and times that it's going to be working on. I'm just going to keep this off again. Uh, stats, I believe it's just going to leave it as it is. Configuration here, I believe it's going to give us some settings on where you actually want to have this uh, in which folder, domain, and if you want a password. But generally speaking, it's just going to be adding the actual URL. Click on next. And now we can actually go to the next step, which is designing our code here. So we can see uh, here we can actually create a template, but I'm just going to leave it uh, off for the time being. Actually, let me just keep this on and just give it a name. Uh, first template. Okay, so now we have the actual frames, uh, frames to choose from. For example, if you just want to choose this one or uh, the, the, this one, for example, or this one, it depends on you and how you want it to be. I like it simple, so I'm just going to go for this one. Uh, or Actually, let me just click on this one and go to the next step here. So you can also edit the text. So for example, instead of scan me, uh, actually, I'm just bad with examples. I'm just going to leave it as it is. But if you want to change it, you can just go ahead and actually change it. As you can see here, you can see the preview on the right side. Text color is going to be white. If you want to change this, you can also change this either by clicking on uh, the color code and change it, or you can click on the uh, actual color here. So I'm just going to leave it as it is. And here we can see uh, the actual color gradient here. For example, I'm just going to turn this off, go red, and you can see that it's going to be red now if you want it to be that way but i'm just going to again leave it as it is and here you can also find more stuff like background color if you want to change it i'm just going to leave it as it is again here is going to be qr code style now this is not going to affect the actual qr code and you know the actual scan of the qr code but it's going to change how it's going to look like uh but generally speaking i'm just going to keep it as uh, it was maybe, or maybe this one, who knows? So it's completely up to you. Now here, they're going to give you a tip. It's going to be better uh, if you select, you know, high contrast. So, you know, one of these square ones uh, and so on. And when it comes to colors as well, just find high contrast colors and you should be good to go. But generally speaking, it's going to work for any of those. Border and background and so much more. You can just edit all that you need to edit when it comes to the style. And here you can also add your logo. So you can just click on here, add your logo. This is not my logo. I'm just going to add it. And you can see already in the QR code in the middle, you can see uh, we have our logo, for example. Or you can use WhatsApp uh, or PayPal or whichever one of those that are down here. Once you're happy with this, you just basically click on complete. And... Uh, now that we go to my QR codes, you should actually find it in here. So how do we actually use it? We basically click uh, click on download. And we are just going to download it as uh, PNG or JPEG actually. And click on it or open it up. Share it wherever you want to share it. And now when people actually scan it. Hold on a sec. So when people actually scan it, it's just going to take them to the URL that you have selected. Uh, and it's as simple as that. So let me just delete this because I don't really need it. And if we just go back, uh, now this QR code is pretty much done and the template is also saved. So if we just go to templates now, we can actually find the template here. But we can just go to new QR this time. And for example, we want, last time was an, a video, maybe it's an MP3 uh or a landing page or a event that you want to link is going to be almost the same so let's just do for example pdf click here and then you can just go ahead and select the template that you want uh, i'm just going to go for the default one i believe is going to be nice give it a name um uh, let's just name it test qr i believe we also needed to give it a uh, the previous, uh, previous one, a name, but I just forgot. Uh, design fonts and nav bar settings. I'm just going to leave them as they are. And here we have more stuff like the actual content, 
uh, stats, configuration, and more stuff. Basic information, you would want to obviously add your PDF. So maximum size, however, is going to be 100 megabytes. So um, can I... Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and just leave it as it is. I'm not going to upload my, my own. I don't think I have a PDF on me right now. But you can just upload it. Click on next. And it's just going to be exactly the same steps again. So it's just going to create it for you. Uh, templates. I'm just going to do the same one here again. And maybe just change the logo to something else. That could be more specific let me just do this one for you for the sake of it and click on complete and now it is completed you can see now uh, yeah i didn't give this one a name so you can just go ahead and give it for example youtube or paypal it doesn't really matter just it's going to be a name so give it a name give it a link if it's pdf you will need to go to the basic settings upload your pdf and it should be working for you and this is pretty much how to use qrfi uh keep creating them you should have them in here and then don't forget to check on these stats because here you have total QR codes. You have one, but if we refresh, hopefully it takes its time. It does take a little bit of time to update, but this should be two. And then later on, if, if somebody actually scans it uh, or scans any of them, it's going to show uh, in here. Total unique scans is also going to show in here and so on. And it's very simple to use QRFI. Uh, and this is just basically going to uh, be your beginner's guide on how to use it so hopefully you have found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching